Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to fake the golden hour look. So taking your photos from looking like this to this. And there's one huge secret that a lot of people try to keep to themselves when recreating this look, but I'm gonna teach it to you guys today. I do tons of videos on photography, tutorials, and all that other kind of stuff every week on this channel. So make sure to subscribe, but yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna be using Lightroom for my editing. You don't have to use Lightroom, but it's my editor of choice. These same kind of things apply to pretty much every other editor, so you can still follow along and doing do it even on mobile if you wanted to in some other app, or if you're using something like Capture One or whatever, something like that. So I did a photo shoot with a model named Lauren. She's an incredibly nice person and it was a really fun shoot. And so I'm just gonna be taking you guys uh, through how I edited this photo and turned it into something that looks like this with kind of the golden hour kind of look. So, yeah. All right, so the first thing I like to do is I always like to come down to the exposure kind of area. So I think I hit the exposure pretty well on this image. It's a little blown out in some of the highlights. So I'm gonna take down these highlights quite a bit, probably around there, something like that. Um, I'm going to bring up my contrast. I know a lot of photographers don't like using tons of contrast, but I think in this image it kind of works. Uh, as you can see there's before, after, it kind of adds a little bit of a darker feel. Um, I also, I just want to quickly say I apologize for any uh, odd sounds you may hear. My computer is not really equipped to run Lightroom yet I do it anyway, and so the fans sometimes can really ramp up, but yeah, anyways, back to it. Um, I like to bring up some of the shadows uh, just in this image specifically, because you can see it's pretty dark in these areas. So yeah, bring up some of the shadows. And then for the whites, I like to bring up the whites just a little bit in some of my portraits, and I'll bring down the blacks just a little bit as well, just because I like the darker look. So there's before and there's after. That's already starting to look all right. I know a lot of photographers also don't like to add clarity into their images, but um, especially portraits, but I like to add just a little bit of clarity. So I think somewhere around 13-ish that, that looks all right. Okay, so as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of a nicer look here. Now we do want to add some of that warmer look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the temperature and raise it to bring it more onto the warmer side. Now usually you don't want to extend this too much, but this is what just I'm gonna be doing to get that kind of golden hour look. And as you can see already, it takes this washed out image and makes it look a lot more kind of gold looking, especially when you have a model who has uh, gold or kind of uh, blondish hair. As you can see, I kind of had the sun facing behind her. Uh, so that just the top of her head was, it's a little overexposed here, but it's not too big of a deal. And I kind of like it because over here in these kind of areas, it makes the hair kind of glow. So that's, that was the look I was going for. And yeah. So now that we've dealt with all of the exposure tabs up here, I'm just going to close this up, all the basic tabs. Then I always like to go to my tone curve. Personally, I really like adding a slight S curve into pretty much every photo I do. Um, not every photo, but just a majority of them. So yeah. In this case, uh, very, very slight S curve, nothing too harsh. Also, I believe in my original one, I added a slight fade on the photo, just because I thought it looked good. You might be able to hear it, but my fans are starting to kick up in my MacBook. So yeah, anyways, um, after the tone curve, as you can see, before and after, already this is looking miles better than the original and really faking that golden hour look. We still haven't come to that one secret I was talking to you guys about, but as you can see, even the tone curve makes a huge difference here in terms of the blacks. Next up, we're gonna go to the HSL and color. There's not too much we need to do with the colors, but one of the things I noticed was this blue rail here was a little too blue for me and I think it kind of took away from the image just a little bit. So I'm gonna go down to my blues, bring down the saturation a little bit and as you can see, it desaturates that blue so it's not as harsh looking. There we go, okay. And then what I also wanted to do was some of the red in her lips um, is kind of fading away so I wanna bring that more to the pinkish side. 
not too much and then I wanted to bring the saturation up just a little bit and I think that's all right and then with the oranges I'm just gonna bring up the oranges just a tiny bit just to make sure that the blonde hair is kind of sticking out um, and then same thing with the yellows I'm not gonna really mess with the hue or did I on the original one no I didn't um, so I'm not really gonna mess with the hue I'm just gonna add to the saturation just a little bit in the yellows and the luminance I'm gonna bring up just a little bit as well if we go down to effects here I like to add a little bit of a vignette to some of my photos not too harsh because you don't want your photo looking like this and you don't want it the other way because that just looks really really weird so I'm just gonna add a little bit of a vignette because I like those areas in the corner to kind of darken up so that it brings more focus to the subject in the center so I think negative 12 kind of works there. And now we're gonna look at the biggest secret that I was telling you guys about. You might know this already, um, but when I first started editing, I didn't know about this, and I thought it was the biggest deal, and I think it really makes a huge difference, and that is the graduated filter. So I'm gonna grab one of these graduated filters, and in this area where the sun would be, I'm gonna drag it just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the exposure up quite a bit, so that it adds a bit more of a a glow so as you can see if I dragged it down here it adds this kind of glow to the image but you don't want it too much onto her face um, or onto the face of the model in this case I want it to just be around here and so as you can see that's pretty washed out but what we're gonna do is inside the graduated filter as well I'm gonna just crank the temperature up to a hundred so that way as you can see if you take a look in this building over here if I drag this up you can see where that glow kind of comes from and you can mess with this graduated filter so if we drag it uh, all the way back you can see nothing and if we drag it forward you can kind of see this glow coming into it and it's kind of coming onto your face a little bit but that's okay that's kind of the look we're going to go for so there's the before and there's the after i think it looks great um, in my opinion some people might think it's a little overdone i think it's I think it's a tad overdone, but that's kind of the style that I was going for in the first place. I wanted it to be very extra looking and very orange looking to kind of uh, fake that golden hour look. So yeah, there's the before and the after, and I think it makes a huge difference. One other thing we can quickly do, uh, which I like to do with models who have these nice uh, hazel kind of eyes or lighter colored eyes, is I like to take the brush tool and then what I'll do is do Command O so I can see what I'm brushing. So I'm gonna dial this back down to a size like this. Maybe bring it up a little bit more. And then what I'm gonna do, oh, let me just do like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in the colored section of her eyes, like so. And then what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna bring the exposure up just a little bit. Actually, what you should do before you start bringing up any exposure, doing anything like that, is undo Command O. It's still all selected, but then this way you can see what you're actually doing. So I'm gonna bring up the exposure to around 0.28 there. And it just brings out her eyes a bit more, which is the biggest thing. You don't want the eyes to be too dark in any sort of portrait because otherwise it kind of takes away from everything. Uh, the eyes are one of the biggest things. Uh, in portraits and you should be focusing on the eye when you take portrait photos in the first place But yeah, that's pretty much it as you can see these photos were pretty damn bland in the beginning and I, Honestly like without these colors. I can't believe that I even shot it in the first place But it's kind of knowing what you're gonna shoot and how you're gonna edit it as well Because editing is really 50% of the process now with digital photos So yeah keeping the edit in mind when you're shooting is such a big deal But like I was saying these are incredibly bland photos as you can tell in the beginning But with some editing it makes it look a lot better and these photos were taken around probably 3 p.m. 4 uh, something something like that and this was back when uh, the sun was setting at around 9 p.m. So they weren't technically midday, but it was still like this, the sun was pretty high in the sky and it was definitely nowhere close to golden hour. So I really just had the vision in mind and I knew how to execute in the editor. I just wanna say that these specific settings are not gonna work on every single photo and doing a direct copy of what I did on my photos, onto your photos, 
it's not going to look the same. This is mainly just a video for a general idea of how you can achieve that kind of golden hour fake look and especially I want to put emphasis on that graduated filter. I think it adds um, such a big difference in terms of adding that kind of glow look to the photos. So yeah, I really hope this tutorial helped you guys. I really hope that um, you guys were able to learn something from this. Send me some of your photos if you are going to try this. Send me some of them uh, into my Instagram DMs. You can follow me uh, on Instagram, DM me and I'll reply back to you. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace guys. See ya.